A new international assessment shows that adults in the U.S. are not keeping up with their international counterparts in the knowledge and skills needed to participate in 21st century society. In fact, U.S. adults scored below the international average in all three of the job-related skills measured. The Program for the International Assessment of Adult Competencies, or PIAC, measures and compares the workplace skills of adults in developed countries. In this new assessment, Americans ranked below the international average in literacy, numeracy, and problem-solving skills in digital environments. Out of more than 20 countries, the U.S. scored behind 12 countries in literacy and lower than 18 countries in math skills. Americans were also lagging in using technology to solve problems. The data suggest we need to look at high school graduates to ensure they're prepared to succeed. Americans whose highest level of education was a high school diploma scored seven points lower in literacy than those who didn't even get as far as a high school diploma in Japan. Some Americans are performing extremely well. 12% of Americans scored at the highest levels, and that's about the same as the international average. But 18% of Americans scored at the lowest level, and 4% failed to even meet that level. Here's a sample assessment question to show what low skills mean in everyday life. Test takers were presented with four supermarket price tags. Each tag displayed details such as the product's name, price, weight, and the date the product was packed. They were asked which product was packed first. 10% of Americans could not correctly answer this type of very simple question, which is at below level one in numeracy. These results are especially serious for Americans with low skills. Compared with low-skilled adults in other countries, Americans are at a higher risk to have low wages, be jobless, or in poor health. The full PIAC report includes international rankings and details on how U.S. adults performed by age, education level, by race and ethnicity, and by whether they were employed or unemployed. Get the full report here.